Hello world and welcome to another episode of Full Bar. In today's episode we are connecting two lambdas inside an of the function together and we are passing data around so you will understand how to pass data inside a step function. If you want to watch more content like this, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday, so let's get started. I have made many, many, many videos about step functions. They are one of my favorite components in the serverless uh, offer from AWS and this video is the continuation of this other video that I will link the card in the top for you to find. And in the previous video, what we did is we trigger a step function from an AWS Lambda. In this video, I will show you how to pass information from that Lambda that you just trigger to the step function, and then how to pass information inside the step function from one Lambda to another. Because in general, you want to, step functions are like workflows, so you want to do something with the data, modify it, pass it to the next lambda, modify it and pass it to the next lambda, and so on. So that is going to be the video for the day. So we can now go to the code and see how it gets done. So let's get back to the code that we did in the previous video of step functions. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave you the card on the top. And if you don't want to do that from the beginning, you can just get the code from GitHub that is in the description box below. So we are going there and we have made in this video uh, two lambdas. One that is uh, called execute step function and the other one that is called calculate random number. Calculate random number belongs to a step function. So it's the only task that this step function has. And the execute step function is the lambda that will trigger the whole step function. This is the fu this lambda execute step function gets triggered when there is a call, an HTTP call through an API gateway. So whenever we call this endpoint, this lambda triggers, and then using the AWS SDK, the step function modules, it will find and trigger the step function that contains the calculate random number. So in this video, I want to show you how to pass data from the first lambda, that is this execute step function, to the calculate random number. And then we are going to create another lambda inside the step function. And I will show you how to pass data from one lambda to another inside a step function. The first thing is we have created this number, that is the event query parameter that comes in the world as a number. We can pass it in many different ways. I just choose that one. And then I will pass that number to our function called step function. And then that that call step function function <laughs> will look for the right step function and will start it. And whenever it starts the execution, it will pass parameters to that state machine and it will pass the input parameter. And in there, we are passing the number, as you can see in the params. So that's the way to pass one parameter or many as you want from triggered the function that is triggering the step function. And then if we go to our calculate random number and we just log the event, we will see that there is a number. So now we can just deploy these changes and see what is going on. I will speed this up for you because it takes a while and it doesn't make sense. We are going to see the logs for the calculate random number and then we are triggering the step function as we did before from the endpoint. And after we trigger it, well, then we can check the logs for the calculate random number and we can see that you will find the number. So now we passed from the input to the step function a parameter. You can pass anything you want. This is just a very dull example. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create another lambda and we are going to put more calculations. It really doesn't matter what these things are doing because this is just an example. So this will just grab something that calculate random number pass and 
and you will see it there. So we just call that, we create another step in the step function, another task, that is the more calculations, and that calls this new lambda, and we change the next to the name of this lambda. And our step function has two consecutive tasks, two lambdas, that basically are sharing information. So calculate random number will pass the number to more calculations and more calculations will display it in the console, for example. To pass information between two lambdas in a step function, we are going to use the callback. The callback has two parameters. The first one is for the error. The second one is to pass information. So we just create some object. I will call it result. And this result, we just have the number, but you can do calculations if you want. <laughs> and I will pass that result to the callback. So now, more calculations in the event should see a attribute called result. So now we can go to the more calculations, we can put some, some logs so we know that it was called, and then we can also log the event and our callback for more calculations will be null null because we are not passing anything forward. So there we should see when we run this code, after we deployed, we should see in the logs of the more calculations a result 10. So let's deploy this code. I will speed this up for you. And let's see what happens after we call this step function again. Now it completed, so let's that completed, so let's run the step functions again. And now we can go and see the logs for more calculations and we just press enter and we wait a bit until the logs appear and you will see that there is a result 10. And that's how you pass information between two lambdas inside a step function and from an input to a step function. So this was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give a big thumbs up and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, things you want to watch in my channel, just leave it in the comment box below. I listen to your suggestions and make a backlog of what you want to watch and try to make those videos for you. And if you have not had enough of serverless and all different kind of things, you should go around and check all the videos from my channel that YouTube is suggesting for you. And I see you in the next episode of Fubar. Ciao!